Hello there, this is Alana Taki. I'm your instructor for Math 133 Online. I'm going to be going over the syllabus in a series of lengthy videos that go in, in depth to all the assignments and locations for those assignments and other ways to get information and help. So you want to pay very close attention to these videos and if necessary you'll have to rewatch them later in the semester. The particular syllabus I'm going over in these videos is for spring 2017. However, the videos should apply to whatever semester you happen to be watching and if you're watching in fall or winter of that later that year. All right, so again, my name is Alana Tucky. I'm the instructor. There's my email address. There's my office, which is on central campus of the Jackson College. My schedule changes from semester to semester, so if you click on the bit.ly link, it will automatically go to the most recent semester. So this is my summer semester schedule for 2017. It will obviously be very different for fall or winter, uh, fall 17 or winter 18, or springs 18 for that matter. So click on the link and check out when I will be available. This particular summer is a little weird because I'm teaching Calc 2 face-to-face -face in the back half of the summer. So I'll have physical office hours um, every day pretty much. Um, I, I put those particular days down. If this modifies, I will um, change that in this document. It will automatically be changed for you to see. And the through June, end of May, June, I will be in my office of several times a week, but I'm sticking to Tuesdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. to be my official office hours, quote unquote. But I will probably have more. So if you know that you need to come see me, send me an email and we can maybe work some time out that both you and I can meet there. All right, my phone number, which is a great way to get a hold of me, is 734-386-0523. You can also text me at that number, so just let me know what class you're in, who you are, etc., and then I can respond back to you that way. Now, I do have a YouTube channel, which is obviously youtube.com slash user slash J, which looks something like, oops, hold on, let me go back. There it is, this one. All right, so this is more or less what it looks like. I'm the owner of it, so it looks a little bit different for me. But down here, you can see um, the three most important playlists to you are the Math 133 playlists. There are lecture videos here. Now, you don't have to watch them here because they're available for you in my Stat Lab. But if my Stat Lab's not working right or you need to rewatch or whatever, you can go here anytime and watch them. Or you can actually download them from YouTube and watch them on your device when you're offline somewhere. You, I also have a lot, well, 35 videos of just online miscellaneous stuff. So these syllabus videos will go into that playlist, but also questions that students have on particular homework problems are in there, which is very nice because sometimes you're stuck on, say, my math lab 3.2.31. And you can click here and I've got a 10 minute video that shows you how to do that problem. And if students send me questions, I can make more tutorials. Now it used to be called My Math Lab, so that's why the MML, but last year they started changing it up so it's called My Stat Lab now. There is actually a distinction on the back end, but it doesn't look that different for students. But I've started switching the nomenclature over to MSL, My Stat Lab. So don't be surprised by MML, MSL. It just means My Math Lab, My Stat Lab. So there's a bunch of tutorials and videos for questions that students have had in the past. See, like, there's one. Okay, so that's all on my YouTube channel. Oh, I forgot. There's also the calculator tutorials. Don't forget those because you use your calculator to do a lot of the calculations in the course. So if you don't want to rewatch the whole lecture, but you just want to remind yourself how to do whatever it was we did in section 6.2, you can watch just the tutorial for section 6.2, and it'll show you how to use the calculator for that particular piece, which is very handy. All right, so that's the YouTube channel. Speaking of my stat lab, I guess I have these kind of out of order. So you can go to www.mymathlab.com or mystatlab.com. It doesn't really matter because it leads you to the same place. What's different is on the back end, there are a few more um, things that are hidden from students that you don't really get to see in my stat lab or my math lab. So there are some distinctions. However, when you want to go to log in, you can just go to mystatlab.com. You can tell I'm used to going to my math lab because it just kind of popped up. 
but it'll take you there either way. It looks the same. And you click, well, for your first time through, you're going to click register as a student um, when you first log in. But after that point, you should click sign in and you'll sign in, which is what I'm about to do. Give me a second. Oh, just on a side note, make sure that you have your username and password somewhere safe and secure. I don't get to know what your username and password are. So it's always humorous to me when students email me, what's my password? I have no idea. So you create a username and password to log in to, with. Make sure you write them down and save them someplace safe. Um, someplace that your kids and dog cannot get at it because I will never be able to know what it is. So I'm just going to log in. No, you do not get to know my username or password either. Sorry. So you'll only have probably one, if you've had more than one My Math Lab course, then you might have another one here. I have tons, of course, because I teach all the time. But you click on Math 133 Online for whatever section you're in. This particular video I'm making in spring of 2017, so that's the section I clicked on. All right, so in here we have all sorts of fun things to look at. So, and this is where our course will be. Now, if you've never registered and gotten started with MyStatLab, I do have some videos here to get you started. Um, I also have the registration instructions here, and the course ID is in those registration instructions. So when you go to register the first time, it'll ask you, what's your course ID? So that is available on that link. You click here. All the instructions for how to register and get going your first time are in here. Now this particular video I'm making in spring 2017, so the code is Tucky 30331 that will change every semester. Every semester will have its own tucky and then five or six numbers after it. So click on that link for your semester and type in whatever code that is when you go to register for the first time in my stat lab. And it should get you into the particular course. So this is Math 133 Online for spring. The fall students will have a different code and they will log in and it will say probably FA 17 or something like that. Now there are a lot of pieces and parts to this particular website that we want to pay attention to. So one of the big important things, which is the next thing in the syllabus as a matter of fact, is the info and links page. So I have it linked to here. I also have it linked to in the syllabus right here. So that takes you to this info and links page, which is available in my stat lab. And it, if you ever lose track of these syllabus videos, if you need help with the the calculator videos. Um, if you can't remember all the basic information from the syllabus, it's all again right here available for you. So um, I might modify this just a tiny bit. There, we didn't need the My Math Lab portion, but uh, we have all the rest of this in here. So it has the syllabus that I'm working from. It has the schedule of assignments, which we're about to talk about in a minute anyway. Um, it will have the syllabus videos. These are the old ones in here. I'm going to modify these and repost and make some new ones in the next hour or so. And then those will get posted. I have some exam notes packets for you to look at, curve templates, Jackson College testing lab info, proctor sheets, etc., etc., etc. So there's whole bunches of information here that if you lose track of it, say you can't remember how to get to my YouTube channel, here it is again under other videos. There's a you click on the link and it'll take you there. Um, those getting started with my math lab, my stat lab videos, they're right here. Here my stat lab. All the same. Yeah, I'll just leave it in my memo. Et cetera, et cetera. There's the calculator tutorials, and there's other documents, things you need to think about, et cetera. All right, all of that is available under this info and links page. So if you forget where the syllabus is, you've, you lost your copy, you know, you printed it out, but then you forgot about it, et cetera. There it is. Speaking of which, the syllabus can be printed. It's a web page document. So you will probably be printing it from the web. So when you go to your info and links page, et cetera, um, you'll be able to just here, let me click on syllabus, click on the syllabus, and it will open it up. Now for me, it's going to open it up actually in, there it is. It looks like a web page, but then you can right click and print and it will print as a web page. So that's what you may want to do. You can save it as a PDF, et cetera, et cetera. See, there it is. That's the syllabus. Okay. And the schedule, which is what I was about to talk about anyway, which is the next thing in the syllabus, is also available there. If you just click on the link, it says spring 2017. 
that's your syllabus and that's your schedule. So you can see when the assignments are due and we're about to talk about that some more. But let me go back here real quick. Homework is available under this link. So that'll be your my stat lab homework. We'll talk more about that later. The discussion boards, you can ask me and ask each other questions. That's um, under discussions. So you can see, um, you actually can't see all of these. You'll only be able to see the week one questions. So that's what you should expect. The rest of them will be hidden from you. The grade book will be where your grades will be located. Course tools will be where you'll upload documents and download documents from me, assignment documents. We'll talk more about that in a different video. The multimedia library is where you can go get more information. So let's say you're stuck in chapter six and you just really need some more help. You're not understanding 6.1, for example. So if I click select all and click find now, there are not only um, PowerPoint slides, there's the textbook, there's some lecture videos that are not mine. Those are actually from a completely different instructor that you could watch. There's the author himself teaching these objectives and talking about them in video form. And there are different examples shown in video form from the textbook. So all of these videos are available to you to, to help you figure out what's going on. Very, very nice. All right, so let's talk about that schedule and then I think we'll be mostly done with this video. And we'll pick up the, after that for the next one. So the schedule is how we figure out what's due when. Now I'll post these dates in my stat lab. They're not currently posted right now. So I will make, for example, the syllabus videos, the 2.1, 2.2, 2.4, 1.1, and 3.1 videos, and their accompanying homework all due on Tuesday, 5.30 at 11.59 p.m. Then in week two, all these other sections, they will become due and I will make them do 6.6 six, and so on and so on and so on. So you can print this out and you can follow along. I also have a link up here in the top corner. So this is the schedule of assignments kind of week to week. So you can see week one, you should do this. Week two, you should do all that dark gray. Week three, you should do the light gray. Week four is exam week, so warning. That's why I made it orange. It's also a week that your first project is due, etc. But over here, I also have assignments by type. And you can follow along this way. You can see, hey, I have the my stat lab videos due for these sections and I have the homework due for these sections, nothing else is due 5.30. So the due dates are listed over here on the left. And that's another way to keep track of what's due when. And it also shows you the points for the course. There are a thousand points total. And we'll talk more about that in a later video when we talk about the grading scale and what those assignments all are. For example, what are paper and pencil packets and how do you submit them? It's a very good question. Wait for a later video and I will explain. All right, back to the syllabus. So that's the schedule of assignments. It's available with a link here under schedule. It'll be available under the info and links page, the same um, link. And you, I would highly, highly recommend that you just print it out and follow along as the semester goes.